Okay, full disclosure, I want to make sure I'm as transparent as possible about the ways in which I negotiate, navigate, and maximize space in my small little cottage here by the beach. Part of that is showing you the mess that's actually behind this closed door. Behind the door is my real shame, and that is my gift wrap paper collection. Okay, here we go. This is just for you guys. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. Okay, so this is only part of my paper collection. And the reason why I collect so much wrapping paper, most of it's um, vintage wallpaper, really beautiful sort of Italian printed papers. And I used to use them for decoupage. I completely forgot that I had this paper. I remember using it to decoupage a chair. I know it looks like I have hoarder tendencies with the paper, but actually I do use them. So I collected papers throughout the years and throughout my travels, and I really haven't come up with a great storage solution, to be honest. There's really no room in the closet. I've got probably, oh, maybe 20 more rolls at least of wallpaper in the closet. So I've got to figure out a way to, not everything is going to fit on this door, but I'm going to try. Now I saw online that someone was using the these Ikea, these are Ikea plastic bag holders and the idea was great except the papers have trouble getting in and out they get caught on these little loops and i can't see where everything is some of these uh plastic bag holders just fell off and they took a lot of the paint with them i don't know if you're like me but if a storage solution that i've come up with is not pretty it has to be, obviously it has to be functional. It has to be really easy to manage, but if it's not visually appealing to me, then it's hard for me to keep it up. And in a small space, most of the storage solutions have to be out in the open. I bought several different pantry shelf organizing systems, but all of them were too deep. They would not allow the bedroom door to fully open. All right, let's remove everything from the door and think about plan B. I'm a use what you have kind of girl. And I remember using white rubber boating straps in my New York apartment to hold all my mail, my keys, and I still have them. I think the boating straps will hold the paper snugly against the door. Now the rubber boating straps are not long enough to stretch across the width of the door, so I have to attach two of them together. So the way I'm going to attach them is to use simple 4 inch cable ties. Simple screws on each side of the door with a medium head is strong enough to anchor each side of the rubber straps. Just slip the ball over the screw. And to cover the seam, I attached these handmade chalk labels. Yay, finally, let's get this paper organized. And you know the best part is that the door opens all the way. We'll see you right here next time for more Nutshell Living Small Space Tips and Tricks. Bye!